Thanks, Greg. We wow. are back. Kim Hasarud is here, and she is going to teach us how to mix things the right way. Yes. Not the wrong way. We don't mean mixing cocktails, but the right pairings Correct. of foods and whatnot. Correct. So important this time of year when we have that party, right? Absolutely. And I'm going to kind of, I know, you know, I'm going to show you some really fun tips to really stretch the dollar and kind of get the biggest bang for the buck. Okay. Yeah. Uh, looks like you guys have already started the champagne. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We haven't yeah. had any. Would you mind cracking this, this yeah, bottle? Crack sure. Yeah. Um, Where's the saber? <laughs> I want to do it the real way. Oh, you should try it that there way. You, go. Um, yeah. you know, when I. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Really, it's like when you take a rubber band and you do this. Everybody kind of does that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a reason why. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, All right. these lights. I know. Right? Hang on. I'm standing over here. I'm back. Somebody over ready to. All right. Oh. I swear that never happened. Yeah. I, you know, <laughs> I think, I think awesome. Christine did that on purpose. I yeah, give her a little tap before she did it. Um, but you know, anytime I have a New Year's Eve party, uh, I like to buy two types of champagne, right? I like to buy something on the inexpensive end uh -huh. because it has multiple uses. It's very versatile. I can cook with it. I can serve it with cocktails, make a punch. You could drink it all day or drink it all night. Um, and then I buy, and I can buy that stuff by the case and not feel like I'm breaking the bank. And then I'll have maybe one or two bottles of like the expensive one. And that's what we toast with. Wow, so you this might is kind good. of pass that around. So this one, um, this first food item is uh, fried foods, onion rings. The oh, onion bring rings, it in, bring in the onion yo, rings. Bring it in, bring it in. Oh, All right. Yes. Oh, oh, no. With ketchup oh, on it. Is, uh, are they hot? Yeah. <laughs> I have one. Can I have one? Yes. Yeah. Can I have one? There's something Speaking magical about the onion. My boys will not eat onions, uh, but if I make it into a ring and batter, they'll uh, like, like, oh, awesome. Of course. Anything fried is Yeah. Awesome. yeah. yeah. What would you put? Okay, yeah, this you, is you wouldn't fried, really think of oily. Yeah, you wouldn't really think of um, kind of pairing champagne with, with onion rings, but they go really well. Mm. This is paired with uh, Barefoot Bubbly Brut Cuvée. Brut means there's no sugar. So any of all, all the styles, oh, I didn't out know of all that. the styles like of sparkling wine, Brut means there's zero sugar. There's also dry and extra dry, which has a little bit of sugar, but not much. But this is, you know how if you get like a fried plate of calamari and they have a lemon wedge yeah. and you sprinkle right. it over? Because yeah. it adds as a nice acidic counterbalance. Champagne is the same thing. So it kind of cleanses the palate after every single bite. Well, can we taste it? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've got. <laughs> well, this is a, another one. Have an onion ring and have it have it with a oh, bite of Lydia. bite of bubbly. The next one. Now, if you're also feeling a little more splurgy, you can go with a vintage champagne. This is a Domaine Carneros. Any vintage champagne goes through another fermentation, which kind of gives it a yeasty breadiness to it, which really complements and actually Ooh, can make fried food like taste that. better. Ooh. It's great. Um, no, the, uh, there are some uh, people get headaches after drinking yeah. champagne, but there's no sugar, isn't it? Usually related. Yeah, to Yeah, it is. It is. And I think is it the bubbles. Yeah, I mean, everything in moderation, I would think. So yeah. if you're eating and you're drinking, you know, and you're drinking water, I mean, like with any kind of spirit or cocktail, um, you should always be drinking water, water with too. Okay. And again, a brute is one that you could probably you have multiple of, and without the sugar, you won't get as much of a hangover. Or mm -hmm. eat more onion. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, so the next one is a cheese fondue, which is very. Uh, simple, inexpensive Ooh. to make. Um, yeah, it needs to be heated up yeah, a little, little bit more. Bit more. Okay. But um, this is, I actually added a little champagne into that too, which is a really good kind oh, of adds I've a never nice knew that you could do that. It. Absolutely, and it really gives it a nice sort of yeah. little tart component to it. And it's very inexpensive, and I got this kind of set up at Bed Bath & Beyond for like 20 bucks. And it's just a matter of buying little foods that you can dip into it. This is an Italian baguette with some fruits and veggies. Mm -hmm. um, what would you recommend champagne? Would and this is a, a Prosecco. Prosecco is on fire. You can get it anywhere. And this is 10 bucks a bottle. It's really light, very uh -huh. fizzy, dry, great pairing. Another great pairing, too, would be Chandon Rosé. This is probably in the $20 range. This is also a dry rosé. It's not sweet, right. but it also has some intense flavors of strawberry and watermelon, which also go really well, really well with cheese. Mm. Now, this yeah. is my favorite. I love smoked salmon. Salmon. I love okay. salmon. Um, and I like to serve smoked salmon over New Year's for two reasons. One is that I don't have to cook anything. Right. So it's done. <laughs> Open the package and I can put it out, right? Right. Um, very easy. It also goes really well with sparkling wine. And if there's any left over, I can slap it on some bagels the next The next day. morning. Yeah. Next or morning. Or scramble them in your eggs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we do for non-alcoholic beverages, which yeah. I probably should have... Drink. Talk. Yeah. <laughs> Talk. Taste it. Sips. Taste it. Is that right? Actually, sip. <laughs> 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 I don't want a lightweight. I don't want to go to that. I don't like um, You know, there are so many great non-alcoholic <laughs> options now. Martinelli's makes a, a great oh, apple cider. Oh. This is an apple cranberry. Welch's also does a great sparkling oh, white grape. Welch's. So good. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs>
This is a San Pellegrino, as in like the sparkling oh, water. So good. And they do a limonada and a blood orange. Oh. Blood orange. Oh. Is and you can pour this in a flute. It's a bright, festive color. Kids like it. And it's also a really good cocktail mixer, too. Stuff I didn't know, though, Martin, these are on you. This is sparkling cider. Well, we know that, this, but this one is. I love you guys. <laughs> They drew me on happy one of these. Yeah. I hope there's a designated host. <laughs> I, I don't understand why. I don't understand it. I don't understand. I don't understand. It. I don't understand. I don't understand. This is what? why I can only what take like say? two sips and, and feel like a little wonky. I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> I have a question. What? Sure. In all, in all seriousness, but like if, so if if your guest is serving something sweet like the lava cakes. Yes. Would would you stay away from a champagne at the? No, history? actually, you would want to do a sweet. With the sweet. And I actually, oh, that's why great. I didn't bring a dessert because I knew you were going to be on the trip. <laughs> but I did bring something to pair with that. Oh, this is barefoot what? red Moscato. Ooh. So sparkling Moscatos are also on well, fire too. We can what open this one too. We are, I love it's got uh, some really bright red cherry flavors. Sorry. Sweet goes oh, really what well. Would be, what would be a cupcakes? huge faux pas? I mean, the biggest, uh, you know, Idiot move you could possibly are make. kidding me in yeah. the head with that. <laughs> 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 that would be with, a big with, with champagne that everyone would just go, oh god, uh, really? You know, it's really kind of hard to do. Champagne kind of pairs with so many different things. Mm -hmm. It pairs with salads. You mm -hmm. could also have it uh, with your main course mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. um, you know, one faux pas that we were talking about before is if you bring a bottle of champagne right. and then like you don't get to it right. and then you and want then to they take it back. back. Oh, oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Why did you I say pointed at you? <laughs> oh, you There's pointed at you. There's, <laughs> we just witnessed yeah, it. enough for you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Mark, we just like, witnessed the faux pas. Sorry, you didn't oh, that's get okay. so much on there. Beautiful. Um, yeah, I just witnessed the faux pas. I love the Scott. Are you sure you want to try yeah, again? Cheers. Happy, yeah, New, happy New Year. Good right. health. Yeah. Good health. Yeah. But, you know, if you have a lot of um, leftover champagne at the end of the night, uh, I always like to bottle it up. I got these at Bed Bath & Beyond. You just pop it in there, and it kind of will Does preserve. Does it keep the fuzzies sure. in it'll keep, there? It'll keep the it from releasing. Um, so you can put those on top, and you could have a Bellini bar the next day. I love that. Fantastic. For more on uh, Kim, you can visit our, our website, our Pinterest site, Pinterest.com forward slash home and family TV. And Kim's 101 champagne cocktails available now at Amazon.com. Yes. All right, well, if, if Kim is uh, up next, rather, if Tanya's not too loopy, she's going yeah. to take us and show us up. Look at, I have three of these in front of me, but no. Cool. Put it back on the rails. I'm about to show you how to have so much fun with your kids and a playing dough. All different kinds of color. Like champagne, right? <laughs> 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 <laughs>